Hi and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. Today is the next in our new series of watercolour swatching where we look at a quick history of a certain watercolour and compare a few different brands. I'll be comparing the brands that I have again as always. Of course there are many 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 more brands but today we're looking at Indigo my favourite colour possibly of all time. Now indigo has got a long history as a colouring product but not necessarily um, so much as a paint. Its primary use was used as a dye for cloth um, and originally um, jeans, denim jeans, were dyed with indigo and that's what gives them that amazing colour, especially vintage jeans and of course French workwear. But as a paint, um, I think it hasn't been used for quite so long uh, because I think to start with when they were producing indigo and making it into a paint, um, it was difficult to create a paint from the plant that was fully light fast. So paint companies have um, used a variety of pigments to create shades that are similar to natural or genuine indigo. Today I'm going to be looking at um, Cotman paint, Sennelier, Mimery Blue and Jackson's own brand um, Indigos. So let's have a look at what pigment numbers these indigos are made from, starting with the Cotman, which is um, Winsor & Newton's student quality indigo. And it's made from PBK7, PB29 and PB15. That's um, carbon black, ultramarine and thalo blue. So those are the three colours that have been combined. And I really like that. I should be swatching these out shortly. But let's um, move along the line um, from left to right and have a look at the Sennelier brand. So this Sennelier is artist quality, so a step up from the Cotman, and this contains um, PBK7, PB15 and PB60. So in this case, that is two of these um, are the same as the Cotman, and that is um, carbon black and thalo blue. But the Sennelier uses anthraquinone blue, PB60. So next is the Mimery Blue, which is a single pigment, Natural Blue 1. It says this is light fast, but I have my doubts as Natural Blue 1 is not an, a colour that has light fast properties. And I checked it out online and I've found um, a site where there's um, artists that test the light fastness of watercolour paint by swatching it out, covering up half the swatch, leaving it in the sun for a year and then removing the cover um, so that the original colour shows and the Mimery Indigo and the Mimery Payne's Grey both faded back to almost nothing. Uh, but that's just research I've found on the internet. I, I have no idea from my own experience. But you can, of course, do your own light fast test with colours um, in that same way by painting out a swatch and covering half of it, leaving it on a windowsill and then coming back after six months or a year and having a look and seeing what happens. But I suspect that Mimery Blue's Indigo is not ar archival. And of course, because Natural Blue 1 isn't light fast, that's why all these other companies have made their own versions of indigo by colour blending um, three colours to get something close. So finally, let's move on to the Jacksons. And the pigment number in the Jacksons are the same as the Sennelier, PB60, PBK7 and PB15. That's thalo blue, carbon black and anthraquinone blue but they may have mixed them in different proportions to the Sennelier. So let's swatch them out and see how they compare. So I'm going to swatch out the colours, starting with the a nice dark value using my three quarter inch flat brush. It's a Cotman one stroke flat brush and I think it's great for swatching. So starting from left to right with the Cotman, the student quality paint, you can see it's a beautiful blue-black, which is what I would expect from an indigo, and it becomes more and more transparent the more water you add. 
and it gives us this really beautiful, as I said, blue-black. That's exactly what I would look for from an indigo. And in actual fact, I use the cotton all the time. It's fully light fast. It's really rich. It does exactly what I need it to. It is my favourite, one of my favourite colours. And let's see how well it stands up to the other colours, which are all artist quality. So this is, oh, I haven't got quite enough water in this. Uh, this is the Sennelier. I'm going to dip back into a little bit more water and straight away you can see that that's a brighter blue and I'd say that that's um, a much cooler, brighter colour. See how it looks adding more water to it. This one seems a little reluctant to wet up for some reason. It's still holding its own. Um, we have to take that down, I think. See how it um, works out in the washi swatch. But I think you can see the difference there. And I believe there must be a lot more, um, a lot more phthalo blue in this mix. There's some phthalo blue in the Cotman, but you can't really see it that much. Whereas I think it's fairly clear here. Um, let's put some nice dark colours. We, If it's really rich, you can see that it comes up quite blue-black. But look, there we are. It's stained my paintbrush um, straight away. I've just washed the brush and you can see the blue staining on the synthetic filaments. Um, so yeah, lots of phthalo in that. Now let's try the natural blue one, the Indigo Genuine. And that's gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Very similar to the Cotman, actually. There's not a lot of difference. I think it's a bit more pigmented, um, as you would expect from an artist quality colour. I'm going to do another swatch, just add a bit more water to it and see how it looks when it's really light. Um, but yeah, you can see it's quite similar to the Cotman, I think. Um, but we'll, we'll see how they dry. Sometimes colours have a massive drying shift. So again, just a nice big washy swatch so we can see how it would behave in a wet in wet wash. And then clean out the brush and I'm going to try out the Jackson's own brand, which looks to be the same as the Sennelier, but let's see whether or not it's the same proportions because the same pigment numbers used in different proportions will produce different shades. Now that looks quite similar but it looks deeper, it looks more pigmented than the Sennelier. But we do need to leave everything to dry completely and then once they're completely dry I'll get them labelled up and we can just do a quick summary of comparison. I've got quite a few more of these colour swatching demos lined up for you, so do let me know in the comments if you like this kind of comparison and brief history video. So here are the dried swatches, and um, there's not really been much of a drying shift. All four are really nice, strong colours, and I suppose the ones that you prefer will be down to personal preference. As these four are split into two distinct camps, we've got the Cotman and the Mimery, which are both blue-blacks, and we've got the Sennelier and the Jacksons that are sort of cooler blues, closer to a Prussian blue, I would say. Um, whereas the um, Cotman and Mimery are closer to a Payne's Grey. Please do let me know in the comments if you have a favourite indigo that you use um, and which camp it falls into, whether it's a sort of a, a blacker blue or a sort of a, more of a Prussian blue colour that you look for when you're wanting to use an indigo. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to see the other two colour swatching um, videos that we've done so far, uh, please look at the playlist colour swatching. Um, on our channel and th this will be growing every week or so I'll be adding a new comparison swatching uh, demo and hopefully this will build up into an interesting um, series. Thank you to our patrons who support this channel and if you're interested in supporting the channel please take a look at the links below and support either uh, Morgana or myself on Patreon. 
I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.